Yes, I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of the Grill the Podcast Show. <laughs> and today is in honor of International Podcast Day. I mean, this is international. I never thought that once I start speaking into this microphone, I would be even thinking of doing anything like this. But hey, I'm going to give you a little history on and a little backdrop on me. Of course, you hear all the music in the background is produced by myself, Elijah A. Greer. Hey, man, I've been in the music most of my life. I mean, started at 14 rapping like, <laughs> I was going to play some of my stuff in the background, but I was like, nah, we'll say that for something else. But anyway, um, so any music that you hear, I produce it. So that's what make my show different right there on International Podcast Day. I share that with you. So I produce it. I engineer it. I do everything. We're talking about play it. Some music you'll hear on some episodes, go check them out. It's different. Some of them are like compositions, you know? Like I said, I get into this mode where I actually want to make something big, you know? And I, I match my music with my message or with my story i don't just throw music in there it's not that it's not that the music you hear in the background is gonna match the fact that i'm talking about me you know what i'm saying that uh, uh, <clears throat> that's my aggression right there for you so anyway i've been doing music for a lot a lot of years i've engineered some albums i've uh, made three albums i won't get into that this episode but so music is really my heart but being that I was a real MC, you know what I mean? Real MC, like freestyle MC, like battling, like seriously. Um, if, and a poet in high school, elementary, I've always been into poetry. I've always been in kind of artistic, not that type of artistic, but I've been artistic or not that artistic. I've been very much into the creative side, uh, art, anything culture I, i've always loved it so um the podcast story really starts when um back in uh early 2000s when uh i was really doing a lot of music and producing a lot of stuff for different people to make sure i wasn't copying because it's easy to copy somebody music i used to listen to talk radio and of course, talk radio gave me a lot of facts, a lot of new words and a lot of new verbiage and ways to deliver these words that um, listening to other, other rappers didn't give me. So I would listen to what is now NPR, um, big NPR now, but this was little NPR when they were just a little station on 88.5 or 88.3 and uh, being rebroadcast through some of the college stations in Atlanta. Um, but you had to go to the low 88 or AM to get it. Um, so I was just be riding around and listening to, uh, to these people just talk. That's all they did was talk. Um, and, and I noticed what I started noticing was they were rebroadcasting. I would sit there, I'm driving, I'm like, I done heard this before. I, I just heard this earlier today. I heard this episode yesterday or whatever. I heard this show. This is the same thing. So I realized they were repeating things, like injecting them in different time slots or just to feel airtime. So that became known as... And, and NPR kind of, they tagged that slogan. I forgot the guy's name, but um, they tagged it as podcast. And ignore it, ignore it, just ignore it. Just keep going. I don't care. I mean, that word means nothing to me. Just keep feeding me the intelligence. Keep feeding me the knowledge. That's what they were doing, making me smarter, a nerd. I told you I was a nerd yesterday uh, on the last episode. Anyway, so um, that's what they were doing. They were feeding me uh, new words that I can use in my rhymes and new ways to, you know, do my do my verses. So uh, and new ways to construct my bars and, you know, things like that. So um, that's how it started for me back then. And, and fast forward to 2019, um, I was in a in a dark place and I, I, a dark place trying to process um, my mother's passing. And um, it, all the memories come back. If you've ever lost someone, it 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 will it does change you. Um, and not being able to talk with her or reminisce when I felt like it, because uh, I shared some in national in honor of National Sons Day. I said I shared some very uh, personal things about how that was. But go check out that episode. Um, 
done in on a National Science Day because it was hard um, for me to have all these good memories, you know, and bad memories and just memories and not being able to share them. So, um, of course, just being in the music and, and knowing how to, you know, engineer and mix down stuff, you know, I got a microphone and I, I bought a portable uh, recorder and I just start putting my thoughts down and recording them of course it, in the beginning i thought i was going to get back into music and rapping but it it never really transpired into that if you go back to the earlier episodes of the grill the podcast show um you will hear me just talking with no music me just being as raw and as honest as i can just speaking into the microphone uh just sharing stories with you because the, the origin of the grill the podcast show is about the stories of course, now I've expanded into the COVID weekly update, which I love. I love doing that. I have the front grill where I try to bring people on to actually uh, talk about their businesses or their passion. And then I have the Friday grill where, hey, sometimes I might get I might get hood. I don't know. The Friday grill could go either way. So, and then I have open talk. Open talk is a combination of them all where. Um, maybe I'll repeat something, but it'll be in a new way. So my my motivation for podcasting, it, it came from just having something to say and, and actually just diving into my voice. And, and if you like I said on the early episodes, there was no music. You won't hear music. So what I when I took that year off, almost a year off and I needed something different. You know, because if you listen to, there are a lot of podcast shows out there, and I'm, I'm trying to sister up with some, but everybody has a different style. You listen to the big, bigger uh, podcast guys or the speakers or the former politicians, whoever, whoever, whoever they are. If you listen to them, they found their voice, they cultivated it, they grew it. Um, and for me, it's like, okay, you listen to my show. You hear me talking behind, you two hear me talking over music and have music, that's me. That's my style. Like, that's my thing. I'm not going to try to cover subjects that someone is already covering. I'm not going to talk about relationships. Somebody's doing it. I'm going to dive into my persona, who I am, and and what motivates me, um, and I'm going to give it to you. And that goes back to my mom because I was raised differently i don't know how to even explain that but um i was just raised differently and 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 that goes out to my mom you know what i'm saying um she just raised me differently and you would think being the only boy i'd be raised to be all bullheaded well i was bullheaded uh i'll be raised to be this arrogant um, hold on wait i am arrogant Okay, so let me try to put this in. I would be raised to be a criminal or I would have used all of these stories about not having or, or growing up poor, being homeless as a crutch, you know, to make me not be here right now. And podcasting is, is, is not even a, a it, it can be lucrative, but first you got to find your voice. So by the grace of God, and I say God, and I say God in the way of getting on my knees. I say God in the way of Jesus Christ praying to God, his father. I say God in that way, my father, which art in heaven. I say God that way gave me a voice to talk, to speak, to say something. It, it may not be you that's inspired, but it podcasting for me is it's like if I don't say it, I'm cheating myself. And I'm I'm damn sure cheating the fact that my mom always pushed me speak your mind. I could have done it. I did it with rapid. I tell you what, I'm gonna have a show just playing my music in the background. I might have some issues with iTunes and some issues with other media outlets I posted on, thinking it's copyright infringement. But it'll be me. It'll be me. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm gonna do that. I don't know. I, I might do a Friday grill, or it might be an episode for Sunday. So you be on the lookout. I'll post the uh, uh, actual preview when I'm gonna do it. It'll just be my music in the background. I mean, I would put some of the uh, artists that I produce music in the background, but hey, you know, copyright, I can't do that. But anything you hear, it'll be produced by me and, and, and engineered by me, mixed by me, just mastered by a whole nother company. 
three record deals you know what i mean i negotiated those deals you feel me so having me here hearing me right now is a testament that i've been speaking in front of the mic i didn't just pick this up one day and say i had something to say this is another form of delivering verses so for me podcasting in honor of international podcast day is i found my voice and i'm giving it to you i am an opinionated I love casting my opinion with my opinionated ass. That is my tag. Because if you listen to any of the shows, and go check them out. You tell me if I don't don't carry a heavy opinion. That is backed up by facts. And that's how I do things. And that is in honor in honor in international podcast day. I'm just gonna talk and and hey, you got any questions? You got anything you want? Hey, hey, hit me up. I mean, let's just be honest. Hit me up. Now I'm I'm up. I go in for it. hit me up 615-613-1225. I only say that once because you're gonna have to remind that. Um, but yeah, hit me up if you want to send some hate texts, some hate calls. Come on, bring them because hate is love. Hate means you found something that is in me that you don't like. I'm cool with that. So anyway, um, International Podcast Day pretty much creators. Hey, keep your head up. Find your voice. Once you find your voice, hey, cultivate it. But if you don't know what NPR is, the news outlet, if you wasn't, if you don't have that, if you didn't have the honor of hearing the creation of podcasting, hey, you missed a lot. I was just blessed enough and a lot of podcasters and now these some of these people are big time were blessed enough to know where this form of media came from you (laughs) did and uh welcome to the grill uh, 